It's beautiful. So beautiful. You know what else is beautiful? Oh. Eh? The These? Yeah. They're nice. What is that? Uh, interpretive art? Oh, nice. Yeah. This is a, and because it's Ramadan, they're all coming at once. Sure. I didn't. Nice. That's a big cat. It's very well fed, I can tell. Yeah, is so that nice. cat eats so much food. I know the cat eats so much food. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> City Garden Restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And this is where they sit on the floor? Yeah. Let's go to swim. To swim? Yes. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. So nice. We might not even have to show the other place. It's so nice. Hey, this one's so nice that we might not I'm even so have to show. I'm so happy they chased us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain to them what happened? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we went to like Mkuki. It's Mkuki Mall. And there was this girl cave. And like chased us and told us like uh, we don't allow here like film and then we decided to move to this place. It's so beautiful, guys. Just see, it. it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I tried to follow your hand. You go see. <laughs> <laughs> I love like it. This. It's so yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I even have coconut. Yeah. Sure. Where should we take a seat? I don't know, anyway. Ah, yeah. Even there, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> okay, let's start it. Okay. I'm with Catherine. Oh, wait, no, it's already going. Yeah, sure. Okay. You want to reintroduce yourself or should we leave that first group? Yeah, we'll the leave The first it. group. Okay, yes. so we have that down. Because we, we uh, uh, do you remember that we told people that we like uh, moved from there too? I got you. Yeah. Some bread. You want some bread? I like the, you want I like bread? The, the uh, Islamic bread. Islamic bread. Okay. Let, uh, until like um. Something more. Until like uh, seventeen Some. or eighteen. So then the food will be ready and people will be like coming. So let, let's make it fast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Start with questions. Did you did you like forget the questions? No. But I love. Did to you see forget them the again. questions? <laughs> You forget the questions. Yes. That's how like British accent. Like, ah, you're trying to be like the other lady. I love to be like to have the, this British question. I love British like uh, accent. Did you forget the questions? Did you forget the questions? You know, I think I think I'm coming over Saturday. I just got to pick up some water. Oh my God, I like it. Ah, I like it. I like it. It's so like, we'll do the interview. You know, I I I think that um, business can do a lot for me. I think that. Um, the best thing about business is uh, doing business. I don't know if I can do the accent. Oh my god. After a little, it's like, oh, what am I saying? You have to be born again in Britain. <laughs> yeah. It's not, but they can do an American accent very well. Yeah. Or English. But it's hard to do the British accent, like fluently. Yeah. They enunciate differently. Yeah. It's like, ah, something. In, even, like, I, I, I remember some, there are some words, mm -hmm. like uh, biscuit. You yeah, guys biscuit. say biscuit. We say cookies. You say cookies. Yeah, and they biscuits say biscuits. are us's. And they say biscuits. Yeah, chips. chips. We don't say so. Chips are like you say fries. Yes. They say chips. What is the chips? Water. Water. <laughs> Water. Okay. I don't know where we cut that. Uh, so we have some questions. I have some questions for this wonderful young woman here. Um, number one. What are your thoughts on business in Tanzania? Uh, How do you see business here? I see business here as a, a grateful opportunity. 
because most of people like many people are like doing business and if you want to see like how serious business is come to Tanzania okay many people do business here hmm. and and by serious um, what do you mean I mean like um, many people do business here like, um, they take it as like uh, the opportunity something like opportunity Ah, yes. I think I get you. Yes, they take it as an opportunity, the only opportunity. And there are so many opportunities here, mm -hmm. but with like uh, business opportunities for most small business, scale business, and for large business, large scale business. And I think for large, like big big business like they have gone too far yeah and we don't have can you speak about it yeah tell them yeah so they have gone too far they have like uh, this uh, marketing experience how to like uh, move their business from one stage to another but i i see like some challenges in a, in a small scale business and there are so many opportunities regarding like small scale businesses. Okay. Yes. I think that was a really good point you made in saying that the uh, larger companies they have the experience yes. and they they're they're the ones that are so far ahead and it does kind of make the smaller businesses yes. it makes them what's an, a good example like I'll leave that for another time. But you, you, um, you said that the small businesses, there's a lot of opportunities in those. What is an example, would you say, of a small business opportunity for maybe a diaspora that wants to come here? Yeah, thank you. That's a nice question. Like for diaspora, there are so many like opportunities here. Like uh, as you know, like um, I want to, to talk about. Um, I don't know like food we have like a little amount of uh, food the food like cuisine ah, can choices. i say that yeah food choices like when you want to like choose what to eat you're gonna eat like uh, rice milau yeah. biryani just the same not biryani biryani is not that popular as it's not. rice not that popular as the rice and they most of people eat biryan like every fri friday eh, <laughs> yeah. only. every friday and uh, i don't say that there are no people who are eating biryani every day but most of them eat every friday and uh, this is not popular and um, i can say that there are little amount of uh, little choices of foods as you know yes so we need people like to to be creative, to, who are creative, to come and pre create new like uh, new food dishes. You know? Yeah. You know what? I I don't know what it is, but when you said people to come and be creative, that's exactly um, what a lot of yes doing things like uh, doing things differently, like yeah. trying to add. Um, I I mean like uh, trying to add some more. Something like, new. Yeah, something new. Like, yeah. yeah, I get what you mean. Especially in a, in a in a local 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 mm -hmm. local street. Huh? I had this idea. But we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. But yeah, to to the diaspora watching this and to the Tanzanians watching this, you can. I don't want to guarantee anything, but you can almost guarantee you're going to make some money in the food business if you do something different. different. Because here, you know, even though I haven't cooked for, I almost tipped the table over. Yeah. Even though I haven't cooked for maybe a restaurant or anything like that, yeah. I have um, made some what you would call Western dishes. Yeah. And, you know, it's well received. I'm not saying do away with the culture, but like she was saying, add something. Add something. It's not, people won't reject it. They're not going to say... Ah, oh, why did you bring this here? They're going to try it. Yeah. You know, we are Africans. Whether you're diaspora or not, we're very curious. Um, you know, bring something creative. Do something creative here. Yeah, sure. 
come with creativity in mind. Yeah, because um, now nowadays uh, things are, I, are so much different yeah. from the previous like time. So come with me, new, new, new like new things, new ideas. And one day I was thinking like, uh, what if uh, I try like to make like street pizzas? Yeah. So, street pizza, yeah. street burger, because when you are in street like and you think about what can I eat today, you're gonna eat, you're gonna find yourself like chips, chips, ah. chips, chips. Ah, there even is me. nothing ah. more, there is nothing more, so it's the grateful opportunities for you guys to come and do it, so you can come with us, what you call shawarma, yeah, you can call, you can come and sell that in the streets. Yes. And it will sell. And it will sell. That's the if you put it at a reasonable competitive price. Yes. Of course you want to make your margins, but it will sell. I mean that's ah I see it. I see even in my neighborhood. There's a local gypsy person and he does something slightly different. I think he has one sauce that's different. Yeah. And he has customers all the time. I say, sure. Man, what's your secret? And he tells me and he winks at me. He's a very well spoken man, maybe I'll yeah. interview him. But he said, oh, it's just the sauce. Literally one sauce. It's not a different food. Sauce. Sauce. The sauce. Even me, I was like, uh, I, I decided to shift uh, from one, like, uh, one, first, one person who was selling chips. And I went to another because uh, he was cooking, like, differently. It's the same food, but it tastes different. Yeah. So, yes. Huh. Come with something different, guys. Yeah. And we're gonna love it. Uh, <laughs> yes, we gotta we're gonna do love something it. Different. Yes, something different. I mean, well, maybe we'll talk about it. But and I got some ideas, yo. Yeah, sure. And another thing I have seen here is like um, customer care. Customer care is really like uh, not so much good. So there are some opportunities about customer care. A huge in. opportunity. Yeah, sure. Customer care is really a big problem here. So if you come and try like to find something different about and uh, solve this like challenge, so it's a grateful opportunity for you guys. Uh, some can be like even like a, can be even a motivation like, like that. Yeah, I think. Oh, customer care training, training. That okay? Yeah. That's where I'm thinking. And you said that you you live here, you're uh, local, yeah. and you have brought this up. Yeah. This is something that was actually in um, I want to call it a little business group of mine. Mm. In one of the biggest opportunities we decided on in yeah. Tanzania was customer care. Customer care, and I've I've been through like bad bad customer care for many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for for many times and. I've been like, I'm tired of it. And I mean, you just got done with it. We're over at what? Uh, the mall. I don't know. Customer care? Customer care, yeah. We have to like, no, not to cut it. We have no. to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. And, and Customer if I'm, care is really a problem. We're not saying all these things to be, to talk down on Tanzanians or Tanzania. We're yeah. saying this because she lives here. This yeah. is her home. This is my new home. And this is a lot of the diaspora's perspective home. We want to build in a positive direction, right? Yeah. Nobody, I don't care if you, I don't care. Nobody wants to go into a restaurant yes. and be served an hour after they walk in. Yeah. Nobody. I'm not, and we're not saying this is every restaurant needs this. No, not every restaurant. There's a lot of good ones. We're at a good Even one here. right now. <laughs> But you know, it's it's an opportunity. We're saying opportunity. Opportunity, yeah. It's a, you can come and like uh, make like a training, even a training institute sometimes. Yeah, about customer care. Invest. Yeah. <laughs> Invest. Yeah. If 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 you guys maybe we'll say this. I know you like business. Yeah. yeah. If you guys, because I want to do more interviews like this. If you guys really want to do something for um, the Tanzanian economy, maybe even before you come here, you know, reach out. There's, you know, business minds like her 
right? They do business. She's this intelligent, talented, okay. Let me back up on the- Really? But reach out. You know, these are opportunities. Just like she was saying, opportunity is everywhere. You everywhere. just have to take it. We need to stop being scared to go and take the jump. I was thinking about uh, when you come like uh, in, in Tanzania, don't try to, to to stick up in a, in a places like uh, I don't know what can say like uh, Masaki. Yeah. The, yeah. Just try to move around all over the places, and you're gonna see like a lot of opportunities. You're gonna see a lot of what you can do about. Yeah. Yes. You know what? Let's talk about that some more. <laughs> I think, yeah, ah, oh, you're making so many good points. Yeah. And we we talked a little off of camera. Ha! Huh. It's so much that I want to. In fact, let me check how much time we're on. Okay. If you don't mind. Ah, oh, we're good. Yeah. Seventeen minutes. I think half of it we're good. Okay. <sighs> Reposition. <laughs> but. Um, the opportunities are almost limitless here, right? Limitless. In areas, yeah, they are. Ah, you, you're getting me riled up. But if you go to these areas like Masaki and yeah. Bezi only, I'm not saying don't go there, stay away from them. They're good Just areas. Go, but, but you won't see a lot. Yeah. Like if you, if you like try to move around all over the places. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like a grocery delivering service, that's a thing in Masaki. Yeah. But if you go to almost anywhere else in Tanzania, right, the millions of other customers you could have, they're not being serviced because uh, it's only for Masaki. Yeah, and the people sure. that live there, they say, oh, there's no opportunity here. Yeah, they you know? say it. They say it. Just walk outside your neighborhood. Some people just have to go and walk out. You know, there's people that will never leave their city. Yeah. There's people that will never leave their um, neighborhood. I mean that metaphorically, but it's almost, I don't know. If you want opportunity, go look for it, because it's here. Yeah, just don't just stick on a same place, you just stay there. Just try to move around. Just try to do research. Even sometimes you can take a, like a, this motorbike. Mm -hmm. You can tell him like, try to, to like, a, get me around I want to see and then they will like, do it yeah yes it's very casual here yes casual, yes it's not strict That's okay the I think there are so many opportunities you can like go on what another opportunity do you see business opportunity yeah ah. regardless like uh, customer care and uh, this food yeah. What another thing? Food and customer. There's also one in. I'm going to say there's manufacturing opportunities. That's yeah. very broad. Manufacturing, but yeah. Tanzania um, imports a lot of things that they can produce themselves. Sure. A lot. Like um, Tanzania, from my understanding, maybe you can um, confirm or deny this. Yeah. Tanzania doesn't have a vehicle manufacturer. No, there is not. Or even a vehicle assembly. Do they have? Maybe. I don't know. If there is that, it's like a one. In, not that much. It's even not well maybe, known. Even maybe like a two, no, even five. Like they are so few. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing with these things are, is when you hear Lamborghini, you think of a country. When you hear Ferrari, you yeah. think of a country. When you think of BMW, Mercedes, you think of a brand and a country. Mm -hmm. Right? Tanzania can as someone who's been here for eight months now and i think you can agree as someone who's lived here yeah. right there is i see people make cars here for themselves yeah, sure. people build their, their own boda bodas they build their own mopeds electric scooters yeah. so i think to myself why aren't they manufacturing on a larger scale yeah. right we can easily in tanzania you can easily go and put together a vehicle and call that a brand and send it to the Tanzanian market and it would be cheaper because these Japanese cars, the cheap little small ones, yeah. they're, they don't work for the roads. When you're driving and the car, you know, is going boom, 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 boom because it's, it's a small car meant for Japan. Yeah, sure. It's a Japanese car. It costs double, right? In Japan, they'll pay half. 
But here, it's double. You have to pay for the vehicle, then you have to pay to have it imported. Yeah. Then there's a fee for X, Y, and Z, and this and this. Imagine if you, this is me speaking to the diaspora or the Tanzanians watching. Imagine if you come up with a vehicle manufacturing, right? You take an engine and some parts and you put together a vehicle. And maybe not even manufacturing, assembly. And it's a Tanzanian made vehicle for half the price of a normal one. You know how many Tanzanians would buy that? Yeah. They'd be proud. It's our car. It's our vehicle for our country, made in our country. Yeah, sure. Right? Even sometimes also I can say like uh, not only vehicle, also bags, like handbags. Yeah, that handbags, too. shoes. From we, somewhere else. We were, we are like, there are some people who are like uh, are making them, like, but most of them are Chinese. Yeah. Chinese company. Why Chinese? Why not us, Africans? Why not us? We can like come here, you can come here and start like uh, man making like handbags, even shoes, slippers, and you can, uh, you can make a lot of money. Yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah, sure. People here, they, when you guys see uh, videos of people walking down the market, Carriaco, yeah. look at what they're selling. And if you see a lot of what the same thing, it's, it's selling, right? When I go down to Carriaco when I was in Arusha, when I was in Dodoma, all these places and you walk down the street, you see handbag, handbag, handbag. And they are from China. And they're from China. <laughs> yeah. But they're selling. Imagine a ten again the same situation. Yeah. Imagine a Tanzanian made handbag with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. It'd be amazing. It'd do well. You know, I think a lot of people, Tanzanians included, diasport, were scared to get into industries outside of food, restaurant, or something comfortable, right? You look at exporting companies, you look at um manufacturers these are dominated by other people, other people. right nothing yeah. wrong with you know competition but we need to be competitive yeah. we've got to get into these markets right so, let's talk about your business yes shall we or do you want to go into the uh, other one so, is right now or video? I don't know how long this video is going to be. Is it um, enough about uh, opportunity? Uh, about opportunity. Mm -hmm. Is it enough? Wait. Yeah. We're just going to do this casual. You know what I mean? It's casual, yeah. She's the friend now. Yeah, I want. Sure. I wanted to say homegirl, but I don't speak like that. Uh, In a homegirl. Yeah. Ah, really? slang. She's the homegirl, uh, I think. I hope I use that correctly. Use it. Good one, right? Yeah, sure. This side. Let's go. Look at that. It must be meant to be because it, I, it, it's a natural question. Uh, okay. So uh, I think I mentioned earlier, Catherine here has a business. She has her own. Why don't you tell us uh, yes, how's uh, it going? Uh, or, first of all, I have to say to tell them like uh, what business am I doing? Yeah, my business is like uh, um, selling second-hand clothes. Yeah. Second hand clothes and uh, uh, it's like it's like a now now it's like a lime person it's like pretty pretty now uh -huh. yeah and this is because of oh, like uh, corona corona thing so things went different uh, as you know that we, uh, we import like uh, clothing like in, from, from outside yes yeah Lots. some are from like uh, china some are from uk some are from us and some are from canada and because of corona the business went like down so we don't get like uh, access to get the clothes because uh, we don't when we go there we find no clothes yeah sometimes we find, it's like getting the clothes you like to scramble yeah, you have to try, to try, to try hard. So the business now it's like going down. Yeah, but I'm like trying, I'm trying, trying hard and not giving up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Corona has 
really devastated a lot of uh, industry. Yeah, sure. But I know you say you want to get into other businesses. Yeah. Why don't you? Uh, yeah. Because it was some good conversation. The, this, I'm thinking about a lot. There are a lot of business I would like to start. Even this, uh, uh, name, I, I think I, could, I can tell you like, uh, did you remember I told you about the uh, thrift store? Yeah. And this is a big opportunity also. Like there are no thrift stores, like where a person can go and get everything in a, in a one, in, in the same store, like with 50 price. Yes. So. Keyword fixed price yeah and um, example now it's like a rain season and most of people i will go and show you one day where these people are like buying like uh, many ballots do you know ballots like ballots in a large it's like large bag of uh, the square yes ah and they okay i don't know what what's called I, it's pretty much that. Yes, they are buying like a, a large pack of like a clothes with maybe hundred, hundred and uh, something. Uh, yeah, hundred clothes. So they go and buy some. Are going to uh, buying like a five six ballots and when they buy them, they go and get them to. Uh, a certain place, as some places it's, it's a, like a export place, yeah. And when rain comes, then you have to stop. Ah, uh, no, yeah, sure. you have to stop. And a person like me who is like depending on going to them and buying, it's like a really problem because I can't go and buy while it's raining. So, if you guys come and start like a and you like a thrifty store it's easy yeah yeah a person who wa wants to go and buy uh, clothes for sale uh, for selling can go and buy at any time also yes and buy at any time without considering uh, whether it's raining whether it's not and uh, I think uh, like um, these people are like uh, putting the clothes all the clothes are uh, in a in a in a like in a in a table yeah. so you have when you want a cloth you have to scramble ah yeah i see that <laughs> yes you have to hey, do, 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 yeah. do, do. You have tattoo, so tattoo. it's like a tire somewhere yeah so i think uh, in, in a thrift they just put them in a finger yeah. yes yeah. yes when you put it like that it's easy for someone to like and if sometimes it's like um, even for me it's a problem yeah. because when I go there and I finish I finish it with a uh, flu uh. <laughs> yeah flu because of like uh, the dust yeah yeah mm, so, so bad so I think that is a big opportunity here we can you can come here and start like thrift store yeah huh. I think it's a good idea I like it. I know we, we talked about the thrift store, but not in this way. Not it's in very, this way. yeah. Because yeah. I'm looking, you, you mentioned the scrambling thing, and I see that, but I don't think anything of it. You are. I'm just like, ah, oh, they're just doing uh, the normal. It's normal. It's not normal, guys. It's so, really tiresome. Way. It's really tiresome. Way. And sometimes you can, like, uh, you can. I don't know how to say. You can go all day. Yeah, you can go all day without getting what you really want. Yes. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, um, like the clothing thing, like yeah. you said, even some other businesses here where I've asked shopkeepers, you know, um, what their margins are on certain items, so maybe some soap. I say, oh, you're selling this soap. I'm curious, how much did you buy it for? How much are you selling for? And these are my friends. So they tell me, I got it for this price. And how much are you selling for this price? And the margin will be 400 shillings. Yeah, sure. 
it'll be like and then I ask why are you why are you selling this so that's the business I'm doing and that is the big challenge uh, for me and my challenge is like the opportunity yeah so that is my business and it's like going like a, like a line person as I told you so and the problem now things are like a normal again because there is no you know there is no lockdown now so we we go on with with business. So the problem here is like, um, but the problem is still there yeah. because the clothes are bit in a high price. Really? Yes, because uh, at the first time before Corona, we were buying like a dress. A piece of dress was like uh, one piece was like uh, three thousand. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Huh. You could be buying one dress for three thousand, but now it's for ten thousand. So they're trying to sell at the price you guys sell for. Yes. Ah, that's not so good. I have to rise up the price, so it's like ten thousand, and I don't know. I don't know. It's maybe it's because of Corona, and we okay. don't know how things will be like. Did you think about making the dress? No, I didn't think, but. Uh, no, I think, I thought, yes, I remember. I thought about making the, the dress, but uh, thinking about the, the, the like, uh, the fabric. I know, uh, also, I was just at him the other day. Yeah. I have a wholesale uh, for Kitenge. Yeah. And what's the other one? Batiki. Uh, and then there's one more. Ka what? Kanga. Kanga, yeah. yes. So, <laughs> Kitenge and Kanga, Kanga. most, mm. and I have a I have a wholesale supplier for that. Let's get something going, because yeah. I think I think you know we're telling them about be creative. Be creative if you yeah. and I know you like many businesses. Yeah. Why don't we? And this is only if you want to. But me, I, I'm crazy about business. Yeah. I don't show it, but <laughs> I'm crazy about business. I yeah. say it saves lives. Save, Save my life. Yeah. Um, maybe that's a video for another day. But I think. You know, we can talk to the supplier, get some uh, fabric prices and all that stuff, and we make it. And we can even export it. Sure. Right? And if you'll buy her dresses, if she if she has them made, right? Uh, yeah. There's a lot of tailors here. We get the fabric, we take it to the tailor, we have a dress, we know, small, medium, large, XL, XXL. Yeah. We get the sizes. Hey, can you make this dress? We've got an order. And we ship it. And sometimes uh, when you go like uh, to, like, it's, can I say a middleman? Like yes. A middleman? Yeah, these people who are selling like uh, a large number of uh, like uh, not who are buying a large number of bulbs. Yeah. Bulbs and we go and buy them. Uh, sometimes when you go there and like try to find the dress, we sometimes find kanga like uh, <laughs> kanga dresses. Yes. Think about it. You and make them and you supply them. Yes. We sometimes and remember. Guess what? These mm. clothes are from UK, and sometimes you get you get you go and find there is a kanga dress from the UK. Yes. And in in the materials here. The material is here. Imagine how cheap you can make it. Yes. So. I like. This. You want uh, to do? Yeah. That's this... all. <laughs> yeah, sure. So that's my business, and uh, my business now is is not going that well. And so, as, a, as I've said, that uh, you have to, when you go there, you have to buy the, 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 the clothes for a for little bit high price. Yeah. So, you need to have high income. Yes, you, have to, to, you need to have high income so that you can go and buy more as you can. So, this is big. It's a big problem now. But... Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's a big problem for me to like uh, go and buy more as I can, so as to get to to make more like profit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you buy less, you get less profit. Yeah. <laughs> when you get buy more, you get Disc more profit. Yes. Don't buy discount. Discount. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I no think discount because these people are not praying. 
Hey. They are not playing, no discount. None. Ah, let me talk to them. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Come, come, show. No discount nowadays. No. Because uh, they are like, um, business is going like, it's hard. Uh. Yes, because of Corona. So they don't play. Let's get creative. Yes. If business gets hard, you get creative. Yes. Right? You still want to offer this and use those. I know many, many Tanzanians I speak to, and I'm I'm almost certain that you have the same idea. They say we don't want used clothes. Yes, Who wants to be told? Even me, no. We we find cheap yeah. wearing like uh, used clothes because it's uh, it's it's a bit cheap. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's a bit cheap. But if we could have like our own industries, yes, making a uh, like home clothes so we could be like buying maybe for cheap price casual yeah imagine a imagine a tanzanian store that sells fully tan ah i'm seeing it in my yeah. mind and i want this fully to Tanzanian happen Tanzanian like clothes you want to do this i want to I'll do, do it. it yes you and me nice. we have to i told you you have to remind me on a lot of stuff mm -hmm. i know we've just so you guys know for some context yeah. we've, we've been speaking for a while because there is this chinese like a uh, chinese industry yeah uh. yes it's making like jeans yeah i went to the place that they supply for a lot of the chinese companies to make yes. their jeans yeah. i went there how much and is the write, material they write like uh it's made from china yeah proudly why? yes proudly and they are doing it here mm. so why you why don't you come and do it Tanzania, made in Tanzania. Yes, made in Tanzania. Invest. Yes, and the the, uh, the the government nowadays tries to emphasize in like investing in an industry. Yes. yes. You can come with the idea of like packaging, packaging idea. Yeah, I mean, yes. even that, everything, every packaging. literally something as simple. It's because it's, it can be a big industry. Yeah, because nowadays we don't we uh, we we were like prohibited to to use like uh, plastic bags. So there is big opportunity even for packaging like uh, materials. You just told me something interesting. I know plastic's yeah. not used to. Yes. It's illegal. So for you, illegal. those of you guys that don't know, plastic bags. Regard, I'm gonna say what the airport lady says. Regardless of their thickness, are prohibited in Tanzania. Yeah. So plastic bags, they use the cloth bags everywhere, which are technically made of a polyethylene combination material. Yeah. But they're not plastic bags. They they don't allow them. Yeah. So packaging material, like she said, hemp. I know hemp. I don't know if it's legal here, but I know they use it to make paper in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the original paper industry. I don't know if they don't allow it. Or even some other mix, bamboo. Well, no, maybe yes. not bamboo. There are so many like uh, we don't know here. Yeah? Yes, because it's a uh, it's a new it's a uh, like new thing. Mm. So we don't know more about uh, how how to make like uh, what material we can use to make like uh, another bag instead of plastic. Yeah. Yes, like what you said about bamboo. Yeah, bamboo yes. paper. That's I didn't a real even thing. know if you can make uh, like a uh, paper by using that. You can make cloth out of bamboo. I didn't know that. So in, in you guys fact, come and helpful. tell us. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You here? Yeah, come and tell us. I didn't know about that. All we have to do is the resources here infinite. The opportunities infinite. Yeah. Let's bring some ideas. Yeah. Let's bring ideas and let them meet creativity and then combine with the opportunities and we have something amazing. And I wanted to add like this thing, like uh, marketing. Mm. Do you remember I told you like? Uh, with big business uh, yeah. like industry, there is no problem with uh, marketing. These people know how to market their business. But for small scale like business owners, they don't know much about how to market their yeah. business. So this is another opportunity, I can say. Hmm. Yeah. Marketing. Marketing, yeah, sure. Well, you know what, guys? I think we should end this. Why? Because we're doing another interview, remember? Yeah. Uh -huh. But l let's like com compete with this. Okay. With marketing because I think it's it's a good thing and uh, I thought one day if I could like um, do marketing for the small scale farmers. Yeah. Yeah. They need it. 
they need it. Because they get approached by people. Yeah, sure. They need it. Like um, most of them, like they suffer because they don't know anything about how to market their their products. So some of them don't even know how to make a product. They don't know. So they sell the raw. You know, maybe they grow corn. They sell raw corn. Corn can be turned into. I'm a chemistry nerd, but it can be turned into literally almost anything. Yes. Plastic even. You know, okay. biodegradable plastic? I don't know. It's the plastic, you know, like, so you have a water bottle. Yes. And you throw the bottle on the floor, yes. it stays there for 800 years, yes. a thousand years. A biodegradable um, bottle, you know, they, there's a process now where you take the husk of corn, mm -hmm. right? The little kernels, they have this little, you know, the casing on it. Yeah. Very small. You take that, you do some whatever you want to call it, but it's it's can be turned into a form of polyethylene that biodegrades naturally. It turns into the ground, right? So, Instead of uh, 400, 800 years, it biodegrades in 30 days. Wow. Opportunity. That's opportunity. Yeah. You have seen. So you guys are. I know you have like. Uh, you're exposed to the Western like world, so you know much. You know more. So you come with your ideas here and you will find a lot of opportunities, like how much say <laughs> I didn't know that and you have like I've gained something. Yeah. But we as the diaspora gain a lot more than we know from the Tanzanian. Oh really? Yes. When you tell me opportunities, yes. sometimes even if we're looking, yes. right? I think I'm open minded, but you've opened my mind a bit more you say oh you know what this is an issue and yeah. i say you know i didn't see that as an issue yeah. but you as somebody who lives here as somebody who operates here you know right you say we can give you guys uh knowledge and information you can give us the same thing yeah the exact same thing it's just um and different sides of it right I think there's one picture, but we each have one half, right? Yeah. You have this half, and we I have this half. Let's combine yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because we as the diaspora, we can't come here and do everything on our own. It's impossible. Yeah. There is no way that we're going to survive or develop as a community without including our, our brothers and sisters. This is our sister. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right? I don't see, oh, she's Tanzanian. Oh, that's my sister right there. You know, there is no us and them. It's we. We, we yeah. as a diaspora, as the Tanzanians, we, you know, because they teach us, we teach them, yeah. it's mutual, right? There's no, I don't know, I don't like it when people say, you know, You're different. yeah, oh, you taught me so much, I say, well, you taught me just as much, yeah. right? We have to be open to receiving the information, no more coming with a mindset of, I'm going to help, and I hate this so much these people what is these people what about our brothers and sisters yeah. or my people i think even i caught myself saying that but i didn't mean it in that way i say our brothers and sisters not my people what am i a god you know what i mean it is what it is but i think for the video's sake of length we'll cut it here which gives us another reason to go and interview again yes uh, yeah <laughs> I'm going to hold you to it. Okay. Uh, what can I like? Uh, we, we should subscribe like uh, anything. Okay. But uh, before she says, <laughs> before she puts me on, mm -hmm. did, did you have an Instagram? You have something? How can they support you? I don't know. Like. Um, Okay. I'm sorry, I threw her on the spot. Like uh, Instagram? Yeah. Yes. My, my business is like um, Pmax Collection. You can go there and like try to search Pmax Collection. And I, uh, you said the idea of making your own would be great. Yes. I imagine. Would Big be great. boss woman. Hey, workers, employees, tailor. <laughs> if, if you were to do this, yes. now I'm asking you guys, I don't want to pull like a Udamaya. Such a good guy. <laughs> but I'm telling you, support uh, this one. Yes. Right? Catherine here, yes. hardworking, very intelligent. She's got so many ideas and yes. she's very, very innovative. Right? We have to support each other. Yes. 
right? She's sitting here on this interview with me, but even before this, we're talking about business, business, business. We want to have a cooking show even. I don't want even to talk about another thing about but uh, only business. Only business, you know? That's how focused she is. Yeah. If she were to do this business, I don't want to say raise your hand if you would support her, but you know, let's show her some support. Go on her Instagram. You know, destroy her messages. Just comment, comment, comment. Hey, this and this with encouragement, ideas, right? Yes. That, that's all we need to do is exchange ideas. Yeah. She has ideas, you have ideas, I have ideas, we have ideas. Let's do this. Yeah. So we're good. Yes. So we have to like say, see, bye. Yeah. So um, we were filming an outro, yes. and it actually ended up we weren't recording. Oddly enough, I don't know what happened. The camera stopped recording. Yeah. So, ah, we said so many good things after. Yes, and we have more to say, but... Eh. Next interview. Next interview, yeah. So, thank you guys for everybody who's watched this video. Asante Sana for being here. Asante, you too. Ay, Asante. Yes. And please like. Comment. Subscribe. And share. Peace. Ah, now I'm in the same situation. Should I do this or should I do just... Do it. Okay, ready? Yes. Bye.